So I got so many projects going on. Here's the intake manifold. It is the uh, Performer Air Gap uh, intake of Edelbrock. Uh, I, I turned it back in because it, I don't know if you remember, but there's some pretty big nicks on the gasket side. So I wanted to replace that. And then I got this one. This one's not, not too bad. There's a couple couple little marks but not nothing major so I'm happy with this one I am going to be doing a gasket port matching I'm going to be taking off some of these uh, see that that casting right there that's pretty bad and then there's a couple little chunks that'll pick it up and I'm just going to use my die grinder and just smooth it out a little bit take off these sharp edges so um, it should flow better um, and even in the th this is going to be the a water jacket but even that we'll just smooth that up a bit well I was getting ready to to do that oh and another thing like inside there that's not it's kind of jaggedy in there too uh, but anyways uh, I went to find my die grinder and it just it's it's not working right so I've had it for oh I don't know 14 years <laughs> and believe it or not it's an old it's an old Walmart one so um, not gonna be using that anymore um, I went to Lowe's and picked up one cobalt I've had pretty good success with with cobalt and stuff so We'll, uh, we'll open this up uh, here in just a second and get after it. Here's inside the intake. Um, I am going to, this has a sharp edge on it, so I'm going to, to take that sharp edge off and uh, kind of cone it more, I guess. Not, not cone it, what do you call it? Put like an edge on there, so it's more like a knife blade. Um, and then there's a couple casting marks down in here that I'm going to clean up a little bit, a bit better, or try to. And I'll take you along for the ride. Alright, so, here we are, as you can see, number 0495895. Uh, after tax, um, it was $32 and some odd cents. Um, Here's the back of it. Just if you want to pause it and read it, you can do that. And then, I guess that's the only part you really care about. <laughs> 25,000 RPM capacity quarter inch collet, which will accept these little burrs. I, got. I have several of these. Um, they're they're grinding stones, but the problem is whenever you're working with aluminum, they get uh, they got like embedded, so it's not it's not as good as uh, those the burr set. So all right, let's open this up. Warning sign. Uh, sure you. These spend 25,000 RPM. That needs a lot of lubrication, so make sure you, you do that. So here we go. Comes with a little tool set. You know what I would love? To have a toolless one where you could, you know, just like, it could be like your drill. That works great. Or just like, where you pull that up, change out the bits. Those are decent size. I don't feel, uh, as far as thickness goes, is what I'm talking about. Little one goes on the bottom. So. Or like something like that. Once you have like the little push button like you do for the uh, the grinder, 
where you change out a blade, push that in so it locks that in. And then you'd only need you'd only need one one wrench to tighten that up. That'd be a great idea. So this is this is it. It's not very big at all. Pretty close to seven inches. And thickness wise inch and three quarter, inch and a half ish. But I say it's pretty light. It's got a different collet in there. So you can use a one eighth inch, which is gonna be like this. Compared to the quarter inch. Uh, you got an adjustment on the bottom. And if I had my old one, I'd show you how you're supposed to adjust that. But basically you have a, a screw on there that you adjust. Comes with your fitting. It has a little disc over in it. And I'm going to go ahead and put a few drops in there now. I'm sure that there is some maybe pre-assembled lube in there or whatever, but probably way too much. But. Yeah. I'd rather have too much at first than not enough. I'm going to put the, that on there. Got that. I have uh, some glasses on, so normally you definitely want some kind of safety glasses or safety shield whenever you're grinding and stuff. But so that you just want to round that over. Seems pretty tough. As far as, as far as whenever you you have it at full blast and you're you're giving it. And you know what? I'm probably gonna take this off. It's a cobalt die grinder. Um, get all kinds of different bits for it. Uh, not not just that comes with it, which gives you a nice decent variety of uh, of grinding stones um, and having the the quarter inch collet is nice too. Um, that should allow you also to use. I have this right here. This is this was mainly for the. See all that. This is mainly for my uh, my Dremel. But this should allow you to use your Dremel um, Dremel pieces also. And there you go, the cobalt. I, I like the uh, like the feel of it. It's pretty nice. Not very heavy. Uh, it seems like it has plenty of torque on it, plenty of power. Which that's one of the biggest reasons I like this one over the the Dremel, is that falling that over is not really that big of a deal. But if you get into anything heavier than that, but you need precision and you need torque to uh, grind that stuff down or uh, polish it or whatever you got to do uh, this will have the, the power to do that so all right then we all comment rate thanks for watching
I'll see you later.